the second left on the We can't Street. take the second left because this is a dead end. Hi guys and welcome back to another vlog. Alright guys, so right now I'm meeting you in the car because I'm actually on my way to make a delivery for my company. Shop mode eyewear. We sell lenses that you can use to fill your prescription glasses in. So I'm making a small delivery now. I'm in an area that I do not know. I'm just keeping this camera on for security reasons. If anybody tries anything. Hi, you're Nicola. You're Nicola. Oh. Yeah, I think I. No, man. Get Nicola out. Oh, backside is true. Okay, so thank you for shopping with us. You wear glasses? Yeah, I have one like this, so you can buy from. Oh, you have one exactly like that? Yeah, like it. So the person, it's somebody I buy it for, you know, mm -hmm. one of my co workers, and she said she likes it. Mm -hmm. So, oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's nice. So, you should have it. That was so smooth. That was a successful um, like a transaction. We are going to go to Mail Pack now because there is a package there for me. I made this purchase a long time on Amazon and I wanted to use it for a wedding that I did last week. I'm sorry guys, that was my first wedding and I didn't even vlog it. I have no pictures. I have nothing at all of that day. Well, yeah, I have pictures because I was invited to the wedding also. I have those kind of casual pictures. But anything to say that I did their makeup, I have nothing. Let me tell you a short story time. I did the girls' makeup, right? I did the bride's makeup first. First time doing, you know, a whole wedding party. I did about, I did three bridesmaids and one bride. That was like four faces. Did the bride. The makeup come out good. She looked nice and everything. And when she looked on it, get yeah, a nice nude lip. Should I take a picture of Shona? You know, do our makeup nice. Our makeup did look nice. She looked on it and she said, too much. I gave her a little bit of a glitter um, eyeshadow. Because she's a bride, I wanted her to stand out. And, you know, just a little bit of shimmer me give her. A little bit of shimmer. Blend it out with the neutral colors, the browns and all of that. And the girl looked on her face and said, too much. So... <laughs> Like my expect figure in the mirror and she's like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. The girl looked on her face and said, it too much. So me, me now, I forbid bite my lip now because me, I said like this, this is nothing compared to what too much is. So yeah, tell me said it's too much and this is barely anything. Because my highlight her face, my contour her face, yes, she did look different. She did look more enhanced. But at your wedding day, you don't get this type of makeup all the time. And you're supposed to stand out on your wedding day. She looked for me and her face so much. So, I did have to wipe out underneath her eye because she never liked that highlighted look. I did have to blot down her face to kind of take off some of the foundation. I did have to wipe off her lip them. Because she say her lip them look yo, me not like, I don't I don't like it when people say them them lips look black because me line it with a dark brown lip liner. Your lip them don't look black. Your lip them just lined. There's nothing wrong with your lips. I don't know. It's almost like I'm enough to take off all I makeup off of her. Just for good foundation alone, foundation and powder and look eyeshadow. She not even did one lashes. I yeah, said, so what the hell is this? Right? Very conservative bride. Very, very conservative. You live and you learn. And I learned a lot on that day. I learned a lot about makeup. I learned a lot about the industry. And I feel like maybe God 
I know I'm ranting and raving but I feel like maybe God wants me to go in this industry because after that wedding I got a lot of um, inquiries I didn't even post anything but I got a lot of um, people asking me to do makeup I have makeup to do tomorrow also that's why I'm going to go collect the something today I'm actually doing a um, makeup for a maternity shoot so that should be good alright guys so I'm in I got the goods and I even bought something to drink because I realized I'm never eating nothing from morning. I'm doing a 5k tomorrow, so I'm, I'm heading into Kingston to pick up my package. And I may stop and have lunch at one of these new restaurants that I've been eyeing. Big box for just this alone coming out. This is the NYX setting spray matte finish that's what it looks like so I'm gonna be using this on my customer tomorrow so lunch all right so it's 1 20 now I have Bible study at 5 and I'm anticipating a lot of traffic because the parish that I'm in now is under a state of emergency so there are a lot of delays so I have to I may have to take lunch to go because I don't want to miss Bible study this evening we'll see <laughs> Alright guys, so you see that building right there with the white car in front of it? That door right there. That is where running events JA is. See there? So it's like a um I think it's like a print tree. They operate inside of a print tree because they have to print the stuff. But yeah, I got my bib, my cross out, my information. But that's my bib. I'm gonna go and get lunch. I'm going to this restaurant called Thai Thai. I saw them on Instagram and they are like a natural, all natural place. I don't know natural you know natural <laughs> so i'm gonna go and check them out i'm gonna go and have lunch there i don't think i'm going to dine you know it's like a, like a solo lunch um date with myself which i like rosemary lane take the next right onto rosemary lane then turn left onto harbor street Kali and this Google have me going on, man. Yo, no one see the lane. Look here. That's why sometimes you can't follow them places. And I don't know this lane, you know. And it's like it's a damn dead, dead end. Dead, so. But this is a dead end. It's not like a dead end, too, no. Left we can't take the second left because this is a dead end. Why would you put me here?
got the food. It was good. Well, I haven't eaten it as yet, but in there is nice and clean and spacious. I bought a Aki wrap with everything. That includes cheese apparently, so I'm interested to try that. I think it's gonna taste good because when I went to Chilitos, I had the Aki with the cheese and everything. And I bought a blueberry lavender refresher. I like the way this looks. I don't like it how it looks. The straw is like, oh. oh. I think they put some sort of lime grapefruit some sort of something really sour I to dig in this might be dinner this just might be dinner I would not buy this back again this one tastes good hi guys so I did reach home safely I'm actually eating the Aki wrap now and it's delicious so I'm gonna finish my wrap I've Bible study in half an hour I want to put up my hair and then prepare for the 5k tomorrow. The next morning. If there was a definition for late in a dictionary, my name would be on that details. Like seriously. I had all oh Maria guys. I had all intentions of leaving here at a quarter to six. Instead, I left at 6 o'clock. It's 6.15 now, approximately. And it's going to take me half an hour to get where I'm going. And the race starts at 6.30. But I'm hoping... One, I'm hoping it's Jamaica time. Two, I'm hoping that at 6.30, it's actually the start of the different um, festivities and the different introductions and who sponsor this and thank you to our sponsors and you know thank you to everybody that could make it happen and I'm hoping that the, the runners because the runners usually start first so the runners will go first and then the walkers will go after so and it's a 3k 5k um event running event so i'm hoping that my group is gonna go last because i am doing the 5k walk but yeah i'm up and some difficulties getting up because I'm not really a morning person so I had some difficulties but it's such a blessing to see another day I even though I don't get up early often I love getting up early because it allows me to see like creation in the early part of the day and the air is a lot crispier um you know it's calmer it's cooler and you know it's always a good look when we get up early so i'm on my way to hope gardens we're doing the 5k now through the hope gardens and tell me why i'm already a sweat tell me why i'm already a sweat i'm tired what can hurt me i'm just start. Um, the race started at 6 30 so I'm a little late but 
should be fun nonetheless. So, let's see if I can make it. So much better to talk. Um, yeah, this is what I say. They tricked me because I thought this was going to be a walk through the gardens and if it's so pretty, trees and the flowers, but not the case. But actually, in I don't even know this community. some boats that I can check out or I'm just gonna be out tired but yeah walking through gardens so now didn't get to see much of the gardens but we're almost at the finish line yay I got more things to do. Oh, I got it. Uh, uh. But just step outside for take a little picture. Because we can't do my 5K, I'm gonna have the picture. Yeah, mad. My mom give me a little medal. This is so nice. Everyone's a winner. See my medal? I'm a winner. Ow. All right, so. On my way back home now, I go home now because my client just texted me confirmation that I'm going to do her makeup and I'm going to do her makeup at 12, which means I have to leave my house maybe at 11, 11.30. So I have to get going now because it's 8.30. I have to clean the brushes and pack. Oh yeah, I have to tell you guys about this coffee. They have lots of different booths around. I didn't get no footage of that. Show a second. But I stopped at the Mountain Peak booth. Let me tell you something. This coffee that I'm drinking is called a caramel coffee. Such a good cup of coffee. It coming like all you have to do is just add water. It's instant coffee. It tastes so good. And them have different flavors. Nutmeg, cinnamon, caramel, coconut, and mixtures of the, the four that I just listed. Like double mixtures. But this coffee tastes so good. This is my second cup. I was like, I need a next cup. I need a next cup before I leave. And let me give it a let me show you the food i have no footage of me collecting these things because when i full time i full time and my never did feel for turn on the camera but this is the food the fried dumpling done for me i'm a sad my vex i'm a upset but i have breadfruit wings one stew chicken vegetable noodles i can salt fish roti curry chicken and um cube potatoes all right guys so i'm just coming out of the beauty supply store the beauty supply store that i always go to 
Vivian's Beauty Supply Store in Portmore. Just got me a loyalty card. I guess I get 10% off your next purchase, but I know nothing that still, but I have something just to see. I'm going to be ungrateful. But let me show you guys what I got. I got some beauty blenders because I don't want to go home and clean any beauty blenders. So I got these nude color beauty blenders from Beauty Creations. I got a face powder for my client. I try and match her really well. This is a Fit Me face powder in 360 mocha. Because mm -hmm. um, I realized when I went to my wedding, the wedding that I did, I had like a palette face powder, but I don't think any of those colors really matched. So I had to be blending and I, I don't know, I don't, I don't like that palette. So I had to get a face powder to match her. And, which is fine, I got a concealer because what I learned, this one is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Fawn. What I learned is that the concealer that I was using, based off of the fact that my clients were conservative, the concealer that I, I used at the wedding was kind of quote unquote bright. So since my client today wanted like a neutral natural glam i said all right let me buy the fawn let me buy the fawn because it's not too bright and it match it it go with a lot of skin complexion so let me get the fawn all right guys so we are back on the road again packed my makeup bag i have my chair in the back there that pink chair i have my lights <laughs> A little bit tired just a little bit tired but I can go on I can do the face today so I'm on my way there I'm supposed to I don't know what I'm gonna reach but I should be there shortly this is the busiest weekend I've had in a while very busy two hours later hi guys so we have completed the makeup and trust me i'm really proud of myself i think i did a great job this has to be some of my best work trust me and you, and you know what i realize success is on the other side of consistency because it's not that I don't know how to do makeup, but there are a lot of times when I doubt myself and I doubt my techniques. But after doing makeup, not even much faces, maybe about 10 faces now. Really? Yeah, maybe 10 or a little bit less than 10. You learn a lot of things. You learn a lot when you do, when you practice and you are consistently doing and doing I mean I, I think I did a great job today like today was a very productive day thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this vlog and don't forget to subscribe for more vlogs like these if you enjoy Jamaican vlogs subscribe for more if you enjoyed this vlog don't forget to check out some of my other vlogs i will leave them on the screen right here and as always enough love big up yourself and i'll see you guys in my next video bye wait my watch your road and on the wheel kim